Good afternoon and welcome to the Lake District and Graithwaite. And yes, we've got the Ineos Grenadier. And if you look around me, there's a plethora of them. Two years ago, I was in the prototype and that was back in the Yorkshire Dales. And now it's my turn behind the wheel. I'm Ben Quirk, welcome to Planet Auto. Why wouldn't you? Now, so we've got an off-road kit which gives you things like the rock sliders. Oh, believe me when I tell you, we do actually use them. Nothing faces it, quite literally. Yes, we've got off-road tyres, but this was driven up, the M1. So don't think, actually, I can't do any road work either, because you can. With that BMW 3 litre straight 6 and the Auto 8 speed, everything is quite literally effortless. And that's on-road and off-road. You've also got things like Recaros, and you can go for various additions, including bell staff. And yes, you can essentially now get a pickup. Anyway, I think that's enough wittering on. Time to get behind the wheel. So one key just down on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, the other left-hand side. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry me like this. They're all eight speed autos, so uh, no manual option available. They're all three litres, either Last diesel time or I was in it was two years ago. Because it was a prototype, yeah. it was a passenger. Yeah. It was uh, an yeah, Scarborough somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, the one I was in didn't have any of this per se. It was big boxes. Same right, thing. that was probably PTO 1 then. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, one of the really early ones. That was cleared nice and quickly. Yeah. Feels off road bias by the steering, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's it's much more off road bias. Um, so you, you know, when we're doing rocky stuff, that it's not yeah. the wheels not being taken out of your hands. I do like this gearbox. Yeah, super smooth. Mini digger. That's it, you've got it. So if we just stop here, we're high. just going to get the car ready for off road. Okay. So this is going to disable the parking sensors, uh, disable the rear view camera. Oh, clever. Disable seatbelt warnings uh, and also turn it into. That's the one thing that annoys me DSC. when I'm off road. Push it once. Yep. Push it a second time to confirm. Okay. We'll accept it up there. Just put the off road setting there so we get the. Uh, That's thinking outside the box, including something yeah. like that. The attitude on, yeah. So you can see what it did to get it into low range. All we're going to do is go into neutral, yep. lift the collar into low range, yep. So yeah. it's going to sit gonna, in gonna it. Gonna sit, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is lovely. The suspension takes it so well, yeah. And um, you know, for, for uh, an expensive coil to be spring, sniffer, don't yeah, you? yeah. It's ladder frame chassis, isn't it? Yeah. It's not squirreling all over the shop. No. It literally, whatever we sort of throw at it, it just copes with it in its stride. And then this, we'll see, this sort of greasy, muddy. Yeah, I expected it to be like this. You can feel it a little bit, but not much. Is this open to the public, this trail, by now? No, it's part of the estate, so they do have their own little 4x4 um, experience. Oh, nice. It's effortless, completely yeah. effortless, yeah. Laura. And we're only in low range, we haven't locked any differs yet. No, we don't need it yet, do we? I'm fully at home with this. Yeah, it's, it's very easy. Anyway, the, the wheel's not been trying to be taken out of your hands. No. Any shape or no, it's not snapping at all. No. 
also you look at all this and you think, oh, that's going to confuse me, but you've broken it down very simply. It's, yeah. you know, it's it's not rocket science. No, yeah, you look at it. Well, yeah, it's, it's an aircraft. It's, is it an aircraft? <laughs> but no, it's it's a diff lock, hill, a hill descent, the rest is... You know, you've got wade mode up there, which just disables the cooling fan if you're wading, so yeah. it's not going to come in and spray water all over the engine. What is the wading depth? Uh, 800 mil. Right, okay. So then if you whack a snorkel on it, it's a little bit, pretty much. Uh, uh, we don't do a snorkel, we do a raised air intake, which is just for, it's not sealed, so it's basically for all dust. Oh right, because they did have them on when they came across um, Silverdale Shore and pulled up across the bay, because they did, um, from, I think it was Kent's Bank, all the way to Silverdale, right across the Bay Estuary. Okay. Bay. And when they came in, some of them had, well, they looked like a They snorkel. look like a snorkel, but they are just a raised air intake. Right, okay. Uh, in all honesty, I wouldn't recommend anyone trying any more than 800 mil. Oh, all right. Um, because the seals are that good, you will turn into a boat. <laughs> wow! Uh, and, and when you float, you are totally at the mercy of the water. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's never a good look. No. You live and learn. Exactly. Making it greasy and it's just it's not even notes in it. That just carries on regardless. Yeah. Because the thing is, I couldn't, in all honesty, go fast over these kind of things because I'd be like, oh, I'm hurting the poor thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's how we are. <laughs> trust me, some people don't. Have that same train of thought. No, I can imagine. We did that last time. It's yeah, it's, it's basic, basic, that's just the rear projection, so don't worry about it. It's not doing it's not, There's no drama being caused. Well, you don't even feel it, you just hear it. Yeah. Is that rock? Yeah. Wow. It's, uh, it's amazing. Yeah. Well, it has got the rock, the rock sliders as well. Yeah, so it's got rough pack, so it's got rock sliders as opposed to steps, and yeah. also front and rear locking differentials. The fact it can do this without the diff slot is it's just mind-boggling, isn't it? Yeah, it's commendable. Yeah. Most people drive it like this, and so they're already trying to go a bit quicker. Uh, I prefer people to drive it like this because it shows how good it is. Exactly. Um, people who are not used to it, they think they always think that momentum yeah. is the key. It's not. <laughs> In certain places, we need some momentum, but yeah, most of the time, something like this will pull itself out anyway. Yeah. And all you'll do is get in trouble and start sinking Speed, wheel spin. Yeah. Um, and you know, if if you are going too quick. Don't give the suspension time to recover, so you've got a wheel that's not yep. driving, braking, or more importantly, steering. Um, you, you can. See, I keep slowing down because I keep thinking the scent is going to bottom out, but no, it's, it's not going to, no, is it? No. Oh, we've got one behind us now. Oh, that's nice to feel it. Yeah. We do a fair bit of this. Okay. Uh, mostly around Oxen Park, which is about five miles that way. All oh, right, okay. Similar geography. Exactly. Yeah, no, we're, it's not back garden. We're about uh, maybe 30 minutes away. Oh, okay, that's nice. So we bring things like D-Maxes up and that kind of thing. So yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Musos are a bit, they've not got the approach angle for the kind of stuff around here, but no. they're all right on some of it. And we bought the first electric pickup. Oh, we did, didn't, didn't, we? Up, didn't we? Yeah, we took the Maxus T90. Okay. Considering it's only rear wheel drive, it did well. I mean, oh, okay. It handled it really well. We had 300 kg gravel in the back just to yeah. make sure it was a bit yeah, easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to put the centre diff in, which okay. we can do on the fly, because we just got a bedrock. You can do it on the fly, Yeah, excellent. yeah, diffs you can do on the fly. So we've just got this bedrock climb to come up. Oh, nice. So, okay. The slower you do it, the better the car. Yep. Yeah. As I say, probably most things on the road could do that, but probably only once. Yeah. The thing is, the camera is not going to show the steepness either, because it never does. That's not going to do it justice. Mm. 
considering its weight. Look at it. Yeah. It just trudges up. With the roof rack, this is probably about 2.8 tons. Wow. No, no point as it felt. Mm. It's just not there. No. You can hear the revs building up, but it's not transmuting it into the actual power, which is nice. It, all it's doing is giving us the distribution of power is very good, isn't it? Mm. So that's it. When we were in the prototype, it was nice to see what it could do, but obviously because you weren't behind the wheel. No, yes, you don't. You, no. you can't feel it working. Refinement massively comes across in this. Rather than, say, you know, an agricultural, like, say, uh, Series 2. Yes. Yeah, you look at that and think, ah, the centre's bound to yeah. scrub, and it isn't. How high do these stand off the ground? Right, like, the uh, lowest point. Uh, well, this one, yeah. uh, just fractionally under 11 inches. Okay. So, so, two, ah. two, six, nine mil. Back in. So I also do a lot of mountain biking as well up here. So. Okay, yeah. I've got a Trek rail, so the electric one. So. Yeah, yeah. Immense. Due to its weight, primarily, it feels, because it's got 29 inch wheels, it's a similar type of thing to this. Okay, yeah. Because it crushes everything. Yeah. It's 27 kilos, which is oh, a fair bit for a bike. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, I'm just going to pop Hilda Saint on, which is okay. literally just up in the centre console there. Is that it? Yeah, make sure it's set to its lowest. And then. Just, oh, you do that with that? Yeah, feet off the pedals, so fully adjustable. And just let it walk? Yeah. It might start to slide a little bit, but don't worry, it will deal with itself. I don't need to break it, does no, it? So it's going to do it all for you. Wow! Don't put too much left lock on that's it. Just touch it on the front line in front of the front guard or the box slider. Oh, of course. Wow! Yeah, it's super, super. <laughs> I'm, I'm amazed, absolutely amazed looking at that. <laughs> That's the kind of thing you'd walk up to and go, no, no I'm not no, even walking no, no. And even though it was tilting, it didn't feel ungainly. No. It still felt, wow. I knew I'd be impressed, but you don't quite know what you're going to do and find. No, you know. And as I say, we can alter the um, speed of the downhill or hill descent control on the on the on the steering wheel. Yeah. Um, so if we set it statically, it's going to set at three miles now, which is the lowest uh, setting. Okay. If we're driving at seven and push the button, it's going to set at seven. Right. So it is adjustable fully between the two. But we can, if we wanted to go the other way, just put the gearbox into manual, put it down into first, turn hill oh, descent yeah, yeah. off. Really? Yeah. I like the way that you can do it all on the fly. Yeah. That makes it make of this. Apart from changing the range. What, from high? Level? High low, you yeah. have to stop. Okay. This is certainly off the beaten track end of the isn't it? It is, yeah. So, I'm just going to just enable the rear dip, yeah. just for peace of mind, so it's just push and hold. You know, I like the light steering. Yeah. It really helps here. And if we Ooh, just sort nice. of climb on the right hand side, so okay. Just a little bit of power, but not too much, just enough to keep momentum travelling up. And this is all about foot control, because if you, you don't want your foot to be bouncing around. So a little bit of power, that's it, climb up on the right, a little bit more. Wow. Just keep it straight. Can't we see the road? And you just <laughs> know it's doing it. <laughs> that's it. That was effortless, quite literally. Have you ever come across anything that it struggled with? Not yet. No. <laughs> I can believe it. Okay. 
They always scare me big chunks of rock. No, they're them. fine. I know, but <laughs> it's just the opposite. Do I would go from the left yeah, to the right? Yeah, just go left, yeah. Right. As I say, you know, with, with the rock pack, with the, the sliders on and everything, I don't need to worry. Yeah, it's got multiple applications, hasn't it? Mountain rescue, you yeah. name it. Yeah. I mean, we've been watching the tour of what was it, a million miles. So just a couple of little steps, first one's on your side. Yep. I'm going to go cross axle here then. Just drink the drop pheasant. There. Lots of pheasants around here. That's it. And a bit, bit of a bit of a drop on my side about now. Yep. Nice. No, it's easy. That's what you want though. You want yep. something, especially if you're getting to uh, an emergency or whatever, something that you can just get. Yep. We're in low range, you can use all eight speeds within the gearbox. Can it? Yep. Yeah. Wow. So Most one hand, that's just yeah. all. Yeah. These like a mid-range tyre then, so uh, they're the uh, more off-road tyre, so they're okay. the BF Goodridge. Um, oh, the BF Goodridge, yeah, yes. all terrains. So again, okay, just going to pop the diff lock in. Which you're going to do on the fly. Yeah, I, I get that. You see, yeah. So you've got the diff locks in, but you can't change modes, right? Okay. No. So this is that bedrock climb again. So this one does have the option of the light bar on there, so we can turn. Oh, nice. Nighttime or daytime, even to more daytime. Yeah, but it, it, it doesn't. just doesn't. Especially over lives then. I'm starting to see why I keep seeing them on the road around here. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> yeah, they work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this morning we, one was coming the other way in the same colour as this, and uh, there was a very uh, jubilant flashing of lights and tooting of horns coming towards us. Oh, wow! <laughs> what, an owner of one? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, I can imagine. Hello, oh, I've seen you. It's like minis, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Beetles. But it's it's quite funny because you see Defender owners, they looking at it going. No, no, no. They're coming the other way, and they're, 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 and they're, they're, oh, it's not. It's not. Yeah, he instills confidence massively. Yeah. Dropping. There we go. Okay. Probably just a tow bar that time. Okay. I like this. I do like this trail. It's a bit more raw than what we're used to, isn't okay. it? Okay. <laughs> See, you expect it to go, and it doesn't. No. What's it like with um, semi-off-road tyres? I don't know, I've not tried it. Okay. I, would, I would think if it was not dry bad. it would be fine. Yeah, a bit of slippage as always. Yeah. I don't know why the hell I'm looking there. Instinctive. Yeah. Memory. yeah, it is. It's probably so, with the mountain bikers. Oh yeah, nice. And then literally just cruise up to this one and it will climb its way out. See, that looks steep and it's just, it's not going to bother it. No, at all. It's just going to climb. And then this one's a little deeper that we drop into now. Wow! And again, just with centre diff in. And if you've got your feet on the floor, you can feel the water underneath pushing up slightly. Yeah! So go a little bit right. Just so sort of use the big rock? Yeah, or well, or just... The, don't bang the wing mirror on the tr on the tree. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> That's it. And then literally just climb so around. Now you've got that rock, so. Wow! It will break a bit of traction on the tree route and probably yeah. want to slide right, but that's no problem, just keep going up. It, it's unbelievable. You're like, right, I can't get any further. You give it a little bit more power yeah. and it puts it down so nicely. 
It's so smooth, isn't it? Yeah, so it's going to hit that tree root any minute. Yeah. There you go. Just more acceleration right? over it, yeah. yeah. And again, just literally still on centre diff lock. Yep. It was worth the two year wait to drive it, wasn't it? <laughs> Good. The struggle. It's like ample side. Yeah, we're going to get straight on. There's a lot of variety. It's, it's nice that there's something with, you know. Yeah. The water and the rocks and the roots and the trees and the roots. The turn circle's not bad considering its size. No. We're going to go right, try not to cut the corner because there's a little bit of a ditch that's concealed by the water. Right, yeah, yeah. right up here. I see it. I can see where they've gone up the bank yeah. as well. Yeah, that's fine, it's no drama. That's... <laughs> I can't get over how effortless it is. I just can't. Yeah, it just puts its power down and... You expect it to do that at least. And uh, it yeah, on, that, on that bank now it just holds itself. Yeah. Wow. Okay, just... Yeah. Pop heel descent in so it's set up five. Where we are now. If you use that lower button on the left hand spoke, just keep pushing it So the set down. one, yeah. Yeah. Or the minus, then you're down to oh, three. Oh, and it goes it. to there, yeah. This will unnerve a lot of people. Yeah. Oh yeah, I would not want to do this bit. <laughs> oh gosh. We've already done it once. I know, it's the steepness of it. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's the bloody ankle as well. Yeah. And the fact that it feels like you're going to go right, but you know damn well it's not. And it did. No, no, I mean... Yeah, yeah. It's a oh, little yeah. bit left hand lock, that's it. Sorry, right hand lock is what I meant. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I made the right direction signal. <laughs> In your words, don't scare me. Yeah. <laughs> that's not that, it's just lots of people just when yeah, they I know they slipping do. that way, they just keep winding the lock on. It's like, no, 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 because if that bites it, we an angle and it's going to. Yeah. And we're keeping um, descent control on you. Yeah. Right. We can go up to four if you want, so put the plus button on the top of the spoke. We have got the, the wheel angle on there, so. Even if someone has, has put a whole turn of lock on and they don't think they have, you can sort of just point out saying, you know, you've got a load of lock into it now, so you just come back to zero. That's very good. So you've got all the information. It's nice to lay it out as well. Yeah, it's very, very easy. Uh, Imagine can, Subaru. We can go and have a look at temperatures if we want to. Oh, wow. Uh, well, that temperature of tyre? Yeah. Oh. So, Tire temp, uh, gearbox temp, transfer case temp, no way. temperatures and pressures of the tyres. Yeah, what current you're drawing? Yeah. Yeah. The kind of things you find in the Land Rover if you added a dial. Yes. Just going to take the other descent off. Yep. Pop that rear diff in. And then just going to back to that line again. It's a bit ominous, isn't it, when you can't the bloody bonnets point yeah. outwards. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter where you approach it. No. No, it's just so so yeah. good. It just versatility is unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> River rapid. Exactly. <laughs> you alright, well? Is that good, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to see something that actually fully tests it. Yeah. Because a lot of these off-road tracks are a bit of mud, aren't they? Yes, and not really water. So these are just a couple of steps.
Ah, it? Right. Yeah, of so yeah, it's a very, very positive. Yeah. So you need to really be know that you're going to change range. Okay. That's good, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Plus, a lot of people use for that. It's not no, and it's not the sort of thing you can you can mistakenly yeah. hit. Yeah. It's that easy to move. Yeah. Someone could maybe move it, but you go. It's not good. No. You put a lot of pressure on your transfer box. Yeah. Take it out of off road mode so yeah. it's brought the parking sensors, uh, seatbelt warnings, full DSC back in, and um, obviously reverse camera. Oh, your L200's yeah. there, must be a shoot. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, but it's 5,000 acres, so. Wow! At no point does it feel underpowered. It's, oh. it's got everything it needs at its fingertips. Definitely. That's what stands out. before when you get to a certain speed the steering becomes a lot more feel to it if that makes sense yes yeah no, definitely you know i mean there, there has been a big talk about the steering but i, I drove this up from corby on the m6 i didn't find any dramas with it at all what tires did you have these it's exactly the same car yeah this car oh this one yeah. okay so i'm gonna go there yeah, right. that one it is yeah one of ours coming back in. Is it like for economy? Uh, I think 32. Is That's not bad. Time. Thank you. No, my pleasure. That was immense. Yeah, it's a great car. It's a great car. It makes my job very, very easy. Do you still race then? Is that what you do? You uh, race now? I, uh, I've had a little sabbatical because of children, but hopefully I'm going to be in a Mark II Jaguar next year. Some of the things that I've driven over today, it's quite mind blowing. The thing about this is, it takes it all in its stride. And there you have it. You've just witnessed the Grenadier off-road. And no less in our back garden, the Lake District. And don't worry, there is a full review coming. And that's going to cover everything from practicality through to the versatility. We even do some road driving. Thank you for watching.